what I really love to do is to bring the outside in. And what was really important to me was making sure that texture was added to the tree. Yes. By doing, by bringing in the outdoors, let's say you can go outside if you have like a pine tree right, back right, right, there, right, right, right. or you can go to a local Christmas tree. Christmas tree farm. Right, and get the Get the scrapes. clippings, yep. exactly. The clippings. It's free, it's inexpensive, right? So you and just get them. And it makes smell like pine. Exactly, and it makes a full tree and have you, a scent. You see she dots in real clippings of pine to the fake right. tree. So, brilliant! Right, so you just have I like the little. she's brilliant. <laughs> so this tree had a lot of holes, and the clippings, by doing that, you're able to fill in spaces. And it nice smells place. like pine. I love, the, look how few ornaments are on this tree ultimately. So it's affordable, but it looks so elegant and expensive. It's Thank just you, Rachel. perfect. So now onto the wreath. So in my house, you saw that I had a I wall love that. full of the, yep. Yep, the little so grapevine wreaths. The grapevine wreaths. So you can get them at your local craft store. They're they come so in different cheap. sizes. They're awesome. Under $20, $12, yep. very inexpensive. So you can use anything around your home in your backyard. And just take some floral wire, the floral and wire that you can get in the store, your and just wrap it around. And you see she has rosemary, rosemary. which makes it smell good. Oh. So, and you can just, so we did a whole bunch already, and then you can add on some more, and just twist it on there, take the floral wire, twist it on there. Juniper, running high. Yeah. And then you can take rosemary. some hair. And little pearl picks, picks and little sprigs of red, there. just to dot the color and bring that out a bit. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. So simple. And just put, just put them all together and make a collage. Nicely done. Thank you. My girl. Mm. I love this floral uh, theme. I've never done this, but I think it's so brilliant, especially for an entryway to bring in fresh florals because of the fragrance, of course. Exactly. It's just amazing. Yep. Walk us through your tips because I just think these are just inspired. Thank you. So you saw the clip that I did the mini floral tree with the red flowers and that's, you know, you can use traditional colors, but I decided to go with white hydrangea because they look like snowballs. They and they're do. All fluffy. It looks like fresh fallen snow. Exactly. This is like flock, major flock. Uh, <laughs> and then you can add spray roses, regular roses. These are wax flowers. These are great to fill in. The reason I like hydrangea is because it's a really big flower yep. and it fills in Takes space. up a lot of space. Yeah, exactly. Right. And they're inexpensive. And the key to keeping these alive is just putting the flowers in water tubes. In the water tubes. Exactly. And then you only have to switch them out like once a week or right. 10 days. Exactly. It's just brilliant. And even as they dry, hydrangeas are gorgeous. True. Yeah, very they true. look very pretty. And another way to really amp up your tree is I know that a lot of people use these string lights and they wrap it around in the traditional right, manner, right. but if you really want a beautiful, vibrant, bright tree, what I like to do is I take the string and I wrap each individual branch from the back to the front. And go deep. And go deep. Give it depth. Yes, and that's important to do. And then when you do that, it takes a little bit more time, but it's so well worth the impact. My mom always bought a 100- hundred a hundred lights for every foot. Exactly. A hundred lights for every foot is what my mom bought. You just see that whole form and it is stunning. Yep, it's yep. totally illuminated. Yeah.